Do you have a problem in calculating the percentage? After watching this video, the percentage calculation will be easy for you. Before calculating the percentage of a number, it is necessary to first know the definition of percentage. Percent is basically an abbreviation of two Latin words, per centum, which means one hundredth, means one part, if a thing is divided into one hundred pieces, like we have one percent battery in our mobile phone. It means only one part of our battery remains. If we have 8% battery, it means we have 8 parts of the battery, which can be represented as 8, 1 divided by 100 or 8, divided by 100, or 0 0.08. These are the three ways to write a number. The first one is in percentage, second is in fraction, and third is in decimal. If you are required to calculate 8% of a number, you can multiply any of these numbers, you will get the same answer. Let's calculate in the calculator 100 multiply 8%. 8 equals 8. 100 multiply 8 divided by 100. Equal to 8. One hundred multiply zero point oh eight equal to eight. All the calculations have the same answer. Here, this is clear to us. If we are required to find the percentage of any number, just simply multiply that number with the given percentage. Name this equation as number one. But if we are required to find that number of which the percentage is given, how will we do that? Suppose 500 is 25% of a number. How will we come to know that number, of which 25% is 500? To solve this, we move the percentage to another side of the equation, and when we move anything from one side to another side of the equation, we also change the sign of that number. If the sign is plus, it will be minus. If the sign is multiplied, it will be divided and vice versa. Here the percentage is multiplying. On the other side it will divide. We name this equation as equation number 2. Now, we will divide 500 by 25%. So, we get 2000. Means 500 is 25% of 2000. Or 2000's 25% is 500. Let's check it too. 2000 multiply. by 25% equals to 500. Now, we will understand how to compare two numbers in percentage. For example, if we want to know that 170 is what percentage of 850? In a simple way, we can understand this thing by using the first equation, and this time we will move this number to another side, which is multiplying here it will divide on another side. This equation will be named as equation number 3. Here we put 170, because we want to know that. This number is what percentage of 850? So, 170 divided by 850. Equals 0 0.2. To convert this into percentage, simply multiply it with 100. and put the sign of percent. Now we will solve some daily life problems relating to percentage. Question number one. If a person rents out his house to another person, and says the rent will increase 10% every year, you are required to calculate the rent of that house after two years if the rent today is 5,000. Solution. After one year we will multiply. 5,000 with 10%. So, we get 500. And add this into 5,000. Equal to 5,500. This rent will be after one year. Second year we will multiply 5,500. 
with 10%, we will get 550 now add this into 5500. We get 6050. So, after 2 years the rent will be 6050. Question number 2. Company A earns a profit of 5000 which is 2% of the total sales of the year of that company. You are required to find the sales of that company for the year. Solution. In this question percentage. And a number is given. Here 5000 is 2% of sales. Using equation 2 and putting the values. 5000 is 2% of that number. And the percentage is 2. 5000 divided by 2% equals to 250,000 means the sales of that company for the year is 250,000. Question number 3. If you get 900 marks from the total of 1200, what is the percentage you get in that exam? Solution. Always remember, whenever you want to see a number, in percentage you always put that number above. Of that number by which you are comparing that number. So, here you are comparing 900 with 1200, so 900 will be above and 1200, 900 divided by 1200. Answers is 0 0.75, but it is in decimal form, to convert it into percentage. We will multiply it with 100 and put the percent sign with it. So, here is your answer. You get 75% in your exam. More questions are given in the link in description. Practice them all. In the second link a percentage calculator is given so that you can check your answers. If you have any problem or you want to tell how you find this video. Please comment below and share this video with your friends. Next video will be on your math problem. If your topic seems interesting to other viewers.